camera speeds. Three, two, one, action. Black cards, past cars. What's life worth if we all wanna be stars? Obsessed, it's dark. Everything we do just makes us fall apart. Hey, it's We Are Fury. We're in LA on set for the Crown music video that we're shooting with Ori McGinnis and Mike Taylor, who are Space Studio together. We're shooting green screen and live sequences, and then Ori's gonna composite them into one music video. We're super stoked to see the final product. So the track Crown is um, a track that we're working on with uh, Kyle Reynolds and Rachel, uh, who goes by Brassy. This song is a bit of a weird one. It really came together from combining a bunch of elements from different genres and things like that. So it starts off as kind of this sort of trap beady thing with you know some heavy guitar, and then as we work towards the drop, it gets into this really grungy, dark, heavy wall of sound, and really kind of drives home this you know guttural feeling. And we're trying to really capture that with the music video, where it's this really dark, like you know, heavy atmosphere. Cheap thrills, it kills But I guess that I like how it feels I'm out of luck The clock is ticking and I don't give a fuck Hi, my name is Brassy and I'm here today on the set of The Crown music video by We Are Fury featuring me and Kyle Reynolds I'm really excited to be here so this is my first music video, first music video I've ever been in, um, and it happened because We Are Fury just found me on TikTok and liked one of my videos, hit me up, asked if I wanted to be on the song, and I'm on the song and they flew me out to LA and here I am. It's kind of the coolest thing ever. <laughs> so when I first was listening to the song, I heard Rachel's vocal and it really sounded very monotone and low energy and kind of just rhythmic and, and almost like she's kind of in a trance and it felt like this artist who's already been through the machine has already had like the success and has already kind of given up on some kind of sacrifice whether it's like integrity or your artistic flair or something and then Kyle's chorus feels very energetic very youthful mm -hmm. like full of energy it really like, opens up yeah and, and so listening to that I was like hey what if you know, Rachel's like this kind of cult leader, which is all the artists who have already kind of been through it. And this is what the branding represents. And then Kyle's like the artist who doesn't have the branding, who's like brand new to the scene, is still trying to be like positive and like keep this positive energy. And so the, the whole premise of the video is essentially there's a cult, which is us and Rachel's the cult leader. And we're branding these people with the marking and Kyle doesn't have it. And he gets entranced by this location where the cult is happening, he gets drawn in and eventually Kyle gets the marking as well. And that kind of represents how we all either, you know, the toxic interpretation is, you know, you either have to compromise on your creative integrity to be successful as a musician, or it can also just represent how as creatives we have to sacrifice something, whether it's like friendships, relationships, time, money. There's so many possible interpretations to the video and I think that's what's cool about it is it's having this visual layer just added so much more depth and being able to do that through 3D and Unreal Engine and all these things that are always insane at is awesome. Yo, what's up? Uh, my name is Ori, directing this video for Fury today. Uh, just finished wrapping up the green screen footage and we're about to move on to the practical shots where we're gonna try to utilize specific like sets and props to kind of drive home the look of what we wanted to get. Lindsay. I'm the assistant director on the shoot today. We're shooting at Tuxedo Studios here in Los Angeles for a We Are Fury video. It's so much fun. I love working with this band and how cool that they met the singer on TikTok. Like we gotta get, we gotta get more singers from TikTok. But yeah, this is so much fun. I'm just helping keep the process moving today, making sure everyone is happy and it's been so much fun. I can't wait to see how the video turns out. We're just the two of you and they're recreating the rest of the people. 
Yeah, if we could just like yeah. do this, yeah, yeah, a little so macarena. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what if you like, I love that with the around, but you yeah. could also like hold them and use like kind of like dirt towards her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have <laughs> that is so sad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Stu, how are you feeling? Oh. <laughs> What's happening? Oh, there's a light. Uh, I'm just having a little nap. Just chilling. Yeah, it's good. We're doing, we're doing good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, really? Oh my god, you guys. That's so nice. Thank you. I really like it. I follow you on TikTok now. I know. We're TikTok yeah. friends. It's really cute. <laughs> No, but seriously, like your rasp and tone is so unique and just literally obsessive. I literally heard that and was like, is that Doja Cat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sounds like her. I love Doja Cat. My <laughs> praise. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Camera speeds. That looks good. All right, three, two, one, action, release. Cool, look up at Rachel. The forehead tattoo, so we've been looking for a symbol for like probably three to four years yeah. and we just couldn't get to something that was good and I started looking at circular symbols because there's just more you can do with symmetry and, and branding and stuff and for some reason I, I landed on Star Wars and I was like the rebels, the empire, and I looked at this common thread of like everything that had hope or like positive shit to it had like this directionality pointing upwards. The Jedi, the rebels, everything had this like upward pointing thing and so I picked up a bunch of those along with our visuals and I sent them to this designer that I found on Instagram and it was interesting because the designer's catalog or like portfolio was very corporate it was like companies like finance this and that and I'm like hey take this step out of this like headspace for a second and let's let's try to come up with something cool for like a creative project and we sent him some of the music and I was like here's the influence here's why I think the Star Wars reference is good and he just kind of came up with this as like an iteration of that with the references that I gave him. And then when Ori was like, yo, if you guys have like a symbol that we want to brand people with, it was just the perfect mix of like everything to kind of bring it together. So that's kind of the story behind the logo. Why we gotta act like we're perfect? Pretending that we are isn't worth it. Nothing these days breaks the surface. What's the purpose? What's up? It's Kyle. We just wrapped up the music video. It was awesome. Um, we Are Fury is the best. And I love making music with these guys. I worked on their last album with them. And I'm excited to share something new with you guys. So you've either already seen the music video, probably if this is behind the scenes, or you're gonna watch it. Or if you have watched it, watch it again after that. So it was a great day with amazing people and you rock. <laughs> that was the worst way to end it. But whatever, we'll just use something like that. Yeah, we just wrapped up the shoot today. Uh, themed basically kind of like the new visuals from Dune, but like our own little spin on it. A cult. Um, a Dune yeah, cult. Yeah, a Dune cult. <laughs> um, 
yeah, a lot of how is it different on. from like a band, like the typical like metalcore video? Well, you guys don't have an instrument, so that was fun in itself. Like the main guys not having like anything to play was like a fun challenge. We gotta be the scary bodyguards. Yeah, just standing there like stomping your staff. On yeah, the, yeah, on the that platform. was fun. So I first discovered. Hold my hands while you say it to me. It's like vows. Okay, so I first. My hands are gonna get sweaty. I, so I first it's discovered Ori through all the like metalcore bands that I listen to. I'm good homies with Telly of The Word Alive, and he showed me a video he did. And I just went down the rabbit hole. I was like, oh, look at all these videos. And then I was just like, hey, I'd love to do some Unreal Engine like CGI stuff because no one's done it in electronic music at this level. And then Ori was the guy. Aww. And now we're, so we're married. Now, it's got that lag, dude. I can't pass that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Love that. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, all good. I love it. I love it. But we all gotta go. Okay. AD is pushing us out. Let's fucking go.